Hey guys and welcome back to the second video on this channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at what you need to pack for a race day event for open water swimming. Let's get into it. So obviously firstly we have our the Zogs triathlon bag. It is probably, one of, it's definitely one of the cheapest on the market and yeah it does everything you need it to do. So obviously with being a triathlon bag it's got all the sections for triathlon. So we've got a dry section there for a wetsuit. Um, and then we've got a helmet section in here, which for me contains the first thing on our list. This is my tow float, it's the hoop one. Now, there you go, so have a look at it. Um, uh, yeah, this one they don't seem to make anymore, however, I managed to find it on a website. Um, called Right Sport. Um, if I can find the website, I will link it down below. Um, yeah, it's, this is a new addition to my kit, but definitely necessary, and some races will make it compulsory, especially if you decide not to wear a wetsuit. Personally, I always wear a wetsuit, but it can be useful. Okay, so let's just move that to the side. Now, if we open up our front section here, this is where I tend to keep my goggles, nose clips, that sort of thing, earplugs. I think this video is especially useful as we're about to start the Hortsum season, so you make sure you make sure you want to get the right kit. So I carry with myself two pairs of balls. So I have my Speedo Biofuse Triathlon polarized, slightly dark tint lenses. Um, I think they're very comfortable. Honestly, like probably my favourite pair of goggles I own. You, I personally think you look, you look a bit stupid wearing them because you can see your eyes through and they're weird shape. Um, but yeah, I honestly think they're amazing goggles. They stick to your face, not too, not painful, nothing. Absolutely perfect. Um, polarized obviously makes sun glare a bit less. Okay, and my other pair of goggles is. The Zogs Predator File 3.0? I don't know. These are the older ones, so you can pick these up on discount quite easily. A website such as Sport Pursuit, well, I mean, that one varies a lot, but Sport Pursuit, um, I actually got these ones off Zogs website for a good price, about £20. So that was decent. So these are actually an orange tint. Um, if I put my fingers behind, you can kind of see it. It's an orange tint. Um, these are also powderized and also in water goggles. Um, what I like about these ones is they are for different conditions. So these are for more um, more d d dull days, I guess. So when the there's not much sunlight and you want to brighten up your swim, I use these as my goggles for that. So now let's take a look at what we've got here. I've got my Speedo Competition nose clip. Uh, I don't use this very often, but I just take it with me just in case. Um, I think most nose clips are all the same really, but I just happen to have this one. Um, next we have some Speedo, some Zog, sorry. Um, silicon multiple earplugs. They're really good. Uh, they mould into your ears. And yeah. Now you may remember from my previous video that I said these are not the best ones. They aren't, except under a hat, these are the best ones for me. As the Speedo ones don't really fit into my hat. Okay. So that's this section covered. Now we're going to go on to the main section. Well, we've actually got my towel. Uh, this is just a um, microfiber head towel that I got from Abu Dhabi Swim. Um, yeah, it's quite compact, looks pretty nice, and dries really well. So, yeah, I would definitely pick up one of these. You can pick them up from Decathlon, I think, quite cheaply. I've got another. I've got a decathlon one somewhere else as well. So definitely recommend this sort of towel if you've got a lot of stuff to put in your bag. Okay, next we're going to move on to these. These are wetsuit shoes, wetsuit boots. I don't know, whatever you want to call them. Um, these are the neoprene shoes you can have. So these are the hoop ones. I really, really, really like them. They're good. Uh, so obviously they've got the strap there, which keeps them more secure. Um, they have this toe bit here, which I, is probably like my favourite feature of, them, of these boots, is because that really helps keep them on your feet. I will say one thing, 
Um, some people I've seen online say that these you can wear these under, sorry, wear them without a wetsuit. I personally have not had any success with that. I always find they fall off. So personally, I think you have to wear them and you have to wear them under the wetsuit. Otherwise, they'll fill up with water and then they get really horrible. They won't do anything. However, I believe that's the same with most boots, and these are just a really, really nice pair. So definitely recommend these to anyone else. Okay, and these are like my go-to. Like if I'm if I'm cold, then these are the th first things I'll put on before I, for a cap, before gloves, or anything else. It's like extras. So also in here, we actually have my new pro goggles, which I haven't yet used. These are going to be the Speedo Biofuse Clear Lens. Um, basically the same, I wanted another choice of goggle lens types. Uh, bought these from Argos, I think. They're really nice. Um, so obviously they'll fit the same as the other Speedo Biofuse. And they'll be clear lensed. So definitely excited to use these this year. I do need to try them out at some point before we go in, just to be sure. But I think they'll be good. And yeah. Definitely excited to use them. Okay. Next up, we have... Oh, we've just got a pair of trunks. Just a pair of Speedo Endurance. They're, they're good, I guess. Because they're, they're longer-lasting fabric in chlorine. And, yeah. Obviously, I'm not using them for chlorine, but, yeah. Recommend these trunks. They're the only trunks I've really used. Okay. Next, we have the Zogs. Sorry, Zone 3, man, I'm getting my brands wrong, um, neoprene skull hat. So one of the things I always want in a neoprene hat is a strap and buddy. Otherwise, I always feel like the hat's slipping off my head and it falls off, inevitably. Um, weirdly, with this one, it's never really got this dent out of it. I mean, it's probably because I haven't used it much, but still, it's a bit annoying. Um, but once it's on my head, it's absolutely fine. does the job, keeps your head warm. Yeah. Um, if you're looking for a neoprene hat, I would definitely recommend this one. And just in case you guys haven't already, um, feel free to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more videos. So next up we have the Orca gloves. I don't know if there's any other name for them, but they're the Orca gloves. They they go they're a lot longer than most of the gloves. Um, and you know they're quite good. They are I will say I personally am not a big fan of gloves wearing them however if it's really cold i will definitely be putting these on and these will definitely be the gloves i go for although some people have said that you can get on as well with ones that are shorter so definitely worth checking out shorter ones definitely worth checking out different styles because you can get some that aren't near bream however i feel like that's not really going to keep you very warm i should be like wearing cotton gloves be a bit useless so definitely recommend to go with neoprene gloves rather than any other gloves to really actually get a benefit and yeah, these are definitely a good show. Um, yeah. So now we need to see what else is in here. Okay, so here we got some stuff. So we've got some anti fog spray by Cressy. I think I'm going to be doing a review of this soon, so look out for that. We've got some triathlon lube. This is personally not the best stuff ever. I've bought some new stuff, but I'm just using this up for now. Yeah. Bottle of shampoo. I've got these gloves that are meant to be for like putting a wetsuit on. Um, personally, not a huge fan of them. Uh, but I might use them, so I'll just keep them in there just in case. No one else for them to go, anyway. Um, there's one thing I'm looking for here that I don't think we have. Um, which is... I always try to bring with me some... Oh, what's it called? Sudocrem, because it's quite good if you get a wet, wet suit rash afterwards. So let's just see. And here, no, nothing. I think it's time to move on to the main event. What wetsuit do I use? I use an Orca wetsuit. The Orca. I'm just going to bring the camera up now. Orca TRN Thermo wetsuit, it's the red one, Wiggle exclusive, very very nice, and yeah, that is my kit in my tri bag, um, yeah, plus Sudocrem, um, 
yeah, I hope this video has been really helpful for you guys. If you want me to go over any bit of kit more in depth, let me know. Yeah. Comment that down below. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. I'll see you guys very soon.